I have this plastic acorn jar that I got from Target for $5. And I'm going to start by removing the lid and using some Wise Owl white primer on top of the lid. Now, whenever painting on plastic, you do want to make sure you prime first. I want my base coat to be white, so I just did two coats of the Wise Owl white primer. If you want this to be another color, you will do your primer and then add your paint on top of the primer. Once that was fully dry, I'm going to take my Wise Owl Furniture Salve and give this a really good coat of the Furniture Salve. I'm then going to take some chocolate Wise Owl paint and cover on top of the white. Now it's very important that you do your barrier. I use the Furniture Salve as my barrier and you can add a little bit of water to kind of help move the paint around. You want to make it get in all of those grooves of where the acorn detail is. And then I'm going to take a baby wipe and just lightly wipe on top of it. You want to wipe lightly so that way you don't wipe away all of the chocolate that has settled into the grooves. And you kind of just move the paint around until you're happy with how it looks. I found this really cute squirrel from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to take a popsicle stick and I cut it so that way I can just glue it on top of the squirrel's ear and the tip of his tail. I used E6000 to adhere everything and I also added a popsicle stick on the bottom of the squirrel as well. And then I'm going to glue the squirrel inside the plastic jar. I have this bottle cap that came from the Dollar Tree, it's the metal bottle cap. I glued a wood circle on the bottom and I painted the circle with some Wise Owl chocolate. I set that aside to dry and I'm going to fill the inside of the jar with two different types of acorns. They both came from the Dollar Tree. One is just an unfinished wood and the other just look like artificial acorns. And I'm also going to cut some of this artificial fall berries and I'm going to fill that in the bottom too. Now you could fill whatever you want inside this jar. I then have this little skewer. I'm going to cut it short and I have these sticker labels that came from the Dollar Tree and I found one that says candy on it. I'm going to stick it onto a popsicle stick and glue my two pieces together. So the squirrel is going to have a little sign that says candy and I stuck that into one of these foam acorns and I'm going to glue that onto the bottom so that it can stand nicely next to the squirrel. I'm going to take a piece of ribbon and I'm going to wrap it around the top of my jar here. And I'm holding that in place with some hot glue. Once everything was fully dry, I took some hot glue and I'm going to glue our little bottle cap tray so that it's sitting on top of the popsicle stick that we placed on the squirrel's head. And then you could fill this with whatever you want. I decided to fill it with some candy. That's why we made that candy sign. And there you go. Now we have this cute acorn candy display. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Paint products, tissue paper, transfers, and mesh stencils can all be found on our webpage at chocolateupfancy.com. And don't forget, you can also check out other tutorials over on our webpage. Have a great day.